Hey everybody, this is Keegan here and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys and happy August 1st everyone. So today's video I'm bringing you guys is another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. Now, in my last Keegan's Movie Reviews video that I did on Saturday, I reviewed Irreversible. And in that video, I, review, I watched this movie that I'm going to be reviewing in today's edition, which is Pink Flamingos. I watched it on Friday with Irreversible as a double feature. I watched Irreversible first, and then I watched Pink Flamingos. And Pink Flamingos is a 1972 film written and directed by John Waters, who not only wrote and directed this film, he also shot, edited, produced, and did the narration for this movie. And this film was originally released on March 17th, 1972. So obviously this year marks the 50th anniversary of when this film was released. Now, some of you might have heard of this movie, but whether you've seen or heard of this film, even if you haven't watched the film, you probably know about the reputation it has. It's definitely one of the most bizarre movies I've ever seen and definitely one of the most disgusting movies ever made. And it's got a pretty bizarre storyline that we're going to go to in just a second. So uh, let's talk about Pink Flamingos, shall we? Now I got to start off by saying that Pink Flamingos has one of the most bizarre storylines for any movie that I've seen, I'd say. Even if you haven't even watched the film and know what the storyline is about, I think we can all agree that it's definitely one of the most bizarre storylines for a movie. Basically, you got a drag queen named Divine, who goes under the name Babs Johnson, who Divine is played by Divine, but just a fictionalized version. So anyways, Babs Johnson is, uh, quote, the filthiest person in the world and has that title. However, there's an evil couple named the Marbles Couple who try to take the title away from Babs. While on the way, the Marbles run an illegal adoption center where they have this guy kidnap women and pregnant them and wait for the women to give birth to the babies in order to give the babies to lesbian couples. So yeah, it's a it's got a pretty bizarre storyline and... It's kind of a gross movie, but we'll get to that in a sec. But uh, it's a pretty straightforward storyline. You got Babs Johnson trying to, trying to keep the title as the filthiest person in the world and not let the marbles take it away from her. So that's basically the storyline of the movie in a nutshell. I just want to say for the record, Pink Flamingos is one of the most repulsive, one of the most bizarre and one of the most disgusting movies I've ever seen but for some odd reason I was kind of entertained by it aside from a lot of the gross parts although I don't think it's nearly as gross as some people say it is there are a few scenes that are gross probably the grossest part is the very end of the movie which I don't want to say what happens at the end but even if you haven't seen the film you probably know about the infamous ending, which I'm not going to say it because I don't feel like waste spoiling anyone's appetite. But even if you haven't seen the film or you've seen it, you probably know about the ending, if you know what I mean. But I thought this movie was kind of entertaining in a weird way. And for a low-budget film... That was shot in the 70s. It's pretty good on the set designs and all the costumes and all the uh, makeup and stuff like that. It's pretty uh, pretty good for a film from the early 70s. It's definitely one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen and definitely one of the most repulsive films I've ever seen. It's one of the most repulsive movies ever made, I'd say. And... Um, I forgot to say this at the beginning of this video that this is the first John Waters movie I've ever seen. Although I do own the original Hairspray on DVD, I've yet to check it out. But uh, I actually thought this one was pretty good. Sure, it was gross and it's definitely one of the most bizarre movies I've ever seen. But oddly enough, I found it pretty entertaining. It's funny, it's weird, it's gross. And uh, I don't know, I just 
I kind of had fun watching it. Although it's definitely not a film for everyone, and some people don't plan on ever watching it, but it's fair enough if you have no interest in checking it out. It's not for everyone. It's definitely, it may grow, it'll probably gross you out anyways. Yeah, I didn't eat anything when I was watching the movie anyways. Although it's not nearly as gross as I thought it would be, in my opinion, other than the ending, of course. But on a technical level, it's pretty uh, primitive for a low-budget film that was shot in the 70s. And I definitely do plan on checking out some of John Waters' other films like Polyester, Cecil B. Demented, and um, what was another one he directed? Cry Baby and a couple of other movies. I will check out some of John Waters' other movies in the future. But I don't really have too much else to add. But I did enjoy this film for what it is, although it's not one of my favorite films I've seen. It's certainly one of the most repulsive films I've seen. And it's definitely not a film for everyone. Well, for obvious reasons, of course. But uh, I don't really have much else to say about it. This review was kind of quick. So, um, yeah, if you want to check out a film that's really weird and repulsive, I guess maybe check it out. But be warned, it is pretty gross at times. And it's rated NC-17 for a reason. But uh, yeah, so I don't have anything else to add, so I'm going to give Pink Flamingos a 7 out of 10. So uh, yeah. Well guys, that wraps up another edition of Keegan's Movie Reviews. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And feel free to follow me on my Instagram and Letterboxd. The links are in the description down below. And uh, if anyone's ever seen this movie, what do you guys think of this movie? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keaton Shepard signing off. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Peace out.